In today's video, we are going to talk about birds. First, we are going to talk about the physical appearance of birds. Birds have got a beak, they have got wings, and they have got feathers. They don't have birds, don't have teeth. Instead of that, they have a beak and they use it to eat and cut all their food. The wings, they use it to fly and they are all covered by feathers. So all the body of birds are covered by feathers that help them to keep their temperature of the body and of course help them also to fly. They have a very small head with very small eyes but instead of that, they have a very good sight. Do you remember what was the sight? So they can see very far away and very good. Birds can fly not only because they have wings and feathers, there's also a very, very important characteristics about birds that they have hollow bones. I want you to investigate what hollow bones are, okay? Hollow bones, remember. Also, birds are oviparous. That means, if you remember, that they lay eggs. And they are, they can breathe with lungs, okay? So they have lungs. To finish up with birds, we are going to talk about the types of birds that we have. So we have two main and very important types. The most common ones and the ones that we must know are the ones that are called flying birds. The other type of birds are called the opposite, flightless birds. In flying birds, we can find our first bird, and most of the birds, as I said, are in this group. Why? Because most of the birds can fly, okay? So their muscles of their chest are stronger and they are attached to the to very large esternons so they can fly their they can move their wings to fly the other ones that are completely the opposite okay flightless birds are the ones that cannot fly as you remember when you put the word the part of the word less to a word it means the opposite so flightless birds we can find for example ostriches Okay, so to finish this video, remember you need to answer the first question. What are hollow bones? The second question will be more, tell me more examples of flightless birds. So examples of flightless birds. And of course, why are they called flightless birds? We know that it's because they cannot fly, but why cannot they fly? There are some reasons why they cannot fly. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and let's see if you can answer these questions. See you tomorrow.